everyone, my name is Gabby and I am on my way to get my first vaccine shot, my first dose. Finally, like here in Canada, the rollout of the vaccine has been super, super slow. And finally, it's my turn. They've been doing it like by age groups and priorities. So just recently, they opened things up for pretty much anyone, any age group. So I was there in my computer, like you were thinking like I'm, I was getting concert tickets or something because I was just like checking checking the website every two seconds to make sure that I like w when it was ready to go and I finally got it the earliest I could get was today June 1st and where I live we're in the Halton region so I'm in Burlington so I couldn't get anything in the Burlington area or Oakville so I had to go to Milton we're on our way to one of the pop-up clinics right now so hopefully it's runs very smooth and everything goes really well i'm excited finally the day has come and i'm gonna be vaccinated we're gonna be officially vaccinated but we're gonna have to wait a really long time for our second doses i think both of ours are gonna be in september so hopefully i don't know the government gets more vaccines we get more vaccines and we can get our second shot sooner that would be the best case scenario because we do have our wedding coming up in august so we're on our way i'm gonna take you guys along with me report everything and how i'm feeling a few hours after so Let's go get vaccinated. I'm finally out. I did it. I got my COVID vaccine. <laughs> it was super fast super easy and i will tell you guys more when i get home but i have it okay i am officially home and officially vaccinated honestly the experience was very very easy very smooth i'll talk about everything in more detail tomorrow and especially how i'm feeling a few hours later um right now it's been around two hours since I got my vaccine and right now I'm not feeling anything at all. I don't have any symptoms. I think usually it's like a few hours later that I've heard your arm gets sore or you get headaches or something. But as of right now, I am feeling really, really good, feeling like normal. So when we got to the pop-up clinic, it was at an art center in Milton, like I mentioned before. And when we were going to park, there was this huge lineup of people. I'm like, what is this? Like I have my appointment. It's not like, you know, everyone had to line up to see if they could get an appointment. Like we all had appointments. It was, everything was already pre-booked. So I was kind of shocked to see a line, but I think a few people had booked their vaccine appointment around the same time slot that I had. So I had to wait in line. I wouldn't say too long. It was moving really, really fast. So I got to the front of the line. There was someone there that asked me what time was my appointment. And I told them and they said, okay, go ahead, go right in. There was around like three stages. I would say that one being the first one I got cleared to go in and as soon as I went in there was like a little station with someone there and they were asking me if I had any COVID symptoms I of course said no to everything and then I went to the last station and that's where they asked more information so they needed to see my health card they confirmed my birthday my phone number my email they also wanted to see a piece of ID or something that had my address on it and they asked if if I was prone to fainting or if I wanted a private room, which I didn't know they would offer that, but I just said, no, whatever is fine. I don't, I don't need a private room. So then after she finished asking me all the questions and verifying everything about me, she just said, you know, go ahead. You're all good to go here. So like I said, because it was in an art center where they were actually administering the vaccines, it was like an auditorium. It was like a bunch of seats and then like a stage at the front and right at the, on the stage as well where they had like, I would say like little cubicles in a way, very, very small, like I would say three rows of them and e there was like e an individual in each little cubicle. So I walked right into that auditorium. There was 
wasn't really a wait for that and i got sat in my spot i waited around 10 or so minutes they gave me like a sheet saying what my symptoms might be after what can i expect and as soon as i sat down there was also another set of questions on the wall kind of asking if you are allergic to this or if you feel this way kind of thing but then i just waited and i could see the nurse coming one by one through each little cubicle i wasn't feeling nervous like driving there or waiting for my appointment it was kind of i was feeling only a little bit nervous and kind of like the anticipation when i saw the nurse going by each one i was just like didn't know what to expect and i was like oh god this is happening i feel like it was more like nervous excitement than anything else because we here in canada have been waiting so long for these doses and like anyone of any age is finally able to get their vaccine in just the first shot so as soon as it was almost my turn the nurse came in she pretty much again just confirmed my name confirmed my birth date and i did get the pfizer vaccine today she rubbed my arm first with some sort of liquid and then she injected the vaccine like super super fast i was like looking down to make sure everything was happening i'm not one of those people that like looks away like i really wanted to see everything that was happening but it was so fast and so quick like two seconds it was done and it was amazing like you don't feel any pain whatsoever like as soon as it goes in she pushes the dose in and you're done she put like a cotton round on my arm told me to hold it for a few minutes and she put a little band-aid on me gave me a sticker and told me that i had to wait around 15 minutes so at 10 44 i was good to go she put like a little sticker on my leg so that other people could see that at 10 44 i was good to go and that was it like basically like she said we said our goodbyes thank you so much we're doing this life-changing thing for me and she just moved on to the next person right behind me and that was it i had just just had to wait around for 15 minutes and then i was good to go and i was out of there i feel like it went by kind of slow but i think that's because i don't know i feel like there was a lot of people at this location and i think there was a lot of people for my time slot so i think that's why things move pretty slowly but i don't know besides that like it, it wasn't like such a long time like i think i was there for 45 minutes maybe but i don't know being there it felt really fast because you were going through all the steps really seamlessly but there were a lot of steps there was a little bit of a waiting around especially like when they first sat me down in like my little cute Cool. I had to wait maybe five ten minutes for the nurse to come by and give me my shot as soon as I was done they told me okay you're free to go I didn't feel anything I didn't have any adverse reactions at least not in those 15 minutes and I didn't have any rashes or anything like right now I am really good so yeah 15 minutes were up told me to go ahead and you're free to go pretty much you got your vaccine you're done i don't know i just felt such a sense of relief so excited like i don't know like a little end to this tunnel or this life that we've been living for the past year i was just like oh the end is near please like so 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 exciting so i just wanted to give you guys a little update on how my vaccine shot experience went for today i will be doing a little follow-up tomorrow to talk about everything in more detail and talk about how i was feeling a few hours after my shot like i mentioned before right now i am doing really good i feel like normal or i have no symptoms yet so that was my experience for today i'm just gonna honestly lounge around at home it's gonna take it easy today because it was a big moment in my life so i will just catch up with you guys tomorrow and tell you how i felt for the rest of the day okay it is the next day after my covid vaccine shot the first dose and i just wanted to tell you guys how i am feeling how i felt after i filmed that last follow-up two hours after my shot i think when i filmed that it was around 12 or 1 o'clock somewhere around there like two hours after my shot and i was feeling really really good i had no symptoms i felt like normal but a few hours later i would say around four o'clock my arm started to get really really sore like i couldn't lift it up more than this so that was the only really thing and i was feeling a little bit tired so i did take a nap and that nap you know is one of those naps that you go to sleep and you wake up and you're like in a different world like i went into such a deep sleep that when i woke up i was so disoriented but after i woke up 
up from my nap again my arm was kind of just really really sore like i couldn't lift it more than this besides that like i felt really really normal just a little bit sleepy tired and my arm was a little bit sore i didn't have any other severe symptoms i felt pretty much like my normal self except like i felt like i just had a really intense workout on my one shoulder that was it and today I am feeling a hundred percent. I mean, I have no other symptoms really. Like I feel, I don't feel too tired today. Like I woke up even earlier than I usually do. My arm is still a little bit sore, like, but I can lift it up higher now. I think about here, right here is when I start to feel a little bit of soreness. And if I have it up for a really long time and I put it down, like it still pulsates a little bit, like it's sore. But besides that, I am doing really good. I had no rashes, no bumps, no nothing. I I'm totally fine and yeah that was my experience getting my first dose of the COVID vaccine I mean for my personal experience going to that pop-up clinic in Milton was very seamless and it went really well I am so glad that I did this I am really really happy that we are finally getting our shots and our COVID vaccines when they first mentioned anything about our COVID vaccines here in Canada it was back in January or February and they said then that everyone most of the population in Ontario or in Canada was going to be vaccinated by the summer and unfortunately that's not the case like everyone is just getting their first dose now so that's the only thing that kind of really sucks here is that we are just getting it and we're gonna have to wait a really long time for our second doses both me and my fiance are gonna have to wait until september to get our second dose we're in june so that's almost three months for the second dose of the vaccine there has been in the news that they're trying to up the second doses so people can get them sooner but they are starting now with the seniors and the elderly and you know priority workers so hopefully maybe by the end of august we'll get it but i think for me specifically i might still just get my second dose in september and i do have to go back to that milton pop-up clinic so i'm glad that i went once and i know what it is like and i know what to expect when i went to this pop-up clinic like i was the first one that i knew to go to one of these pop-up clinics a lot of the people that i know had gone to hospitals so i was really unsure of what to expect but i mean they did a really really good job and everything ran very smoothly very seamlessly so i would really have to give them props for that they've done an amazing job to get things done efficiently but yeah that was my experience getting my first dose of the vaccine i hope this helped you somehow or you got some clarity i've really felt no symptoms we'll see in the next few days how i feel but right now i am feeling a lot better than yesterday and my soreness in my arm has gone down quite a lot not as bad as it was yesterday so that's really really good news so thank you guys so much for coming with me to getting my first dose of the covid vaccine when i get my second shot i will definitely take you guys along with me as well because i heard for some people the second dose hits you a little bit harder so I kind of want to take you guys along with me and see what happens to me then but as of right now I am extremely happy and extremely grateful for everyone that made this possible for us and for me I am super happy and I can see the light at the end of the tunnel and I can't wait for us to gain a little sense of normalcy after this crazy and insane year we've had so thank you so much guys for watching this video and coming with me if you liked it please give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.